Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and if you got that new computer at Christmas here are the top apps that you should actually install on your computer. Um, I'll have like the top five but I'll probably have a little more. So if you've got that new Windows 8 computer you will need to have apps to go with it. Apps are available on the Microsoft Store, so you just click the store and that's where you will find apps. First one that I would probably suggest if you've got Windows 8 is Skype. If you're the kind of person that likes to chat around with other people, and especially if you're on the move all the time, uh, go on the upper right side of your Microsoft Store and get yourself Skype. What's interesting is that you have two versions of Skype available. One is the uh, Metro style, so uh, get you can get the Skype app on the Microsoft Store. But there's also the desktop version available, so um, if you're wondering how to install the desktop version, there's a video on the channel. Just type Skype in the YouTube search on our channel and you'll get the uh, desktop Skype app also. So if you're more into using the desktop version because you're used to it in Windows 7 for example then maybe the uh, desktop version might be more interesting but the uh, actual Metro style Skype is not bad I'm actually getting used to using it and especially in Windows 8.1 because in Windows 8 because of apps that would sometimes not run together I did not know if somebody was online or calling me but in Windows 8.1 that changed and it's really actually uh, much better so you just click that install button it's free of charge another great great messaging app if you are on different messaging systems for um, Yahoo message and um, maybe on uh, ICQ or maybe you know there's like tons of chat social things out there uh, I am plus is a must if you have only space for one app that can make you chat around with different people then install I am plus there's a free version I am plus I am plus pro at 499 as more features in the uh, way actually um, you interact with your accounts and also I believe that the I am plus pro as video while the I am plus standard free version does not offer video chat but if you're not into video chat you just want to chat around with people no problems no frills and have all of your accounts in one chat app well I am plus is a great great app and if you want more just get the I am plus pro for $4.99 of course another cool app if you are a Twitter fan or really use Twitter all the time Type Twitter in that little search box and go and get that Twitter app for um, Microsoft Windows 8.1. Once again, a free Twitter app and it's going to help you interact with all your Twitter feeds and interact and have those uh, Twitter comments and you know post all these little Twitter messages that you want. So uh, the Twitter app for Windows 8.1. What's nice about these apps is that all the apps that are on the Windows Store are actually, um, I would I would say, touch device enabled. And so, if you have a touch tablet, uh, Surface Pro, or a laptop or desktop that has touch functions, then what's cool about Windows 8.1 apps is that they are optimized for touch devices. But don't worry, even if you don't have a touch device, they are quite easy to go around the. Um, the interface just with the uh, mouse and keyboard. Uh, of course we can't go without Facebook. If you're a Facebook fan there's the Facebook app available for you to download and install and so um, just search for that. It is usually very easy to find because it 
usually is in the um, store on the left side you have these little suggestions of what you should get or not and so Facebook is a great app it actually incorporates pretty much everything you need about Facebook it works well I actually love it a lot it's a very clean interface it's full screen interface also which really makes it nice and easy to go through if you have a touch device of course it works really really well uh, one of the missing things in Windows 8 that I know is very popular that I think that everyone should actually um, if you like those little games because I see a lot of people going around and playing that spider solitaire or that solitaire game uh, in Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows XP well that's not available in Windows 8 there's no game section in Windows 8 like there was before but of course free of charge you can go into the Microsoft Store and just type solitaire and you'll see Microsoft solitaire connection it's free of charge and you can actually install it it's very nice if I show you quickly here the solitaire connection that I have and it gives you access to different games from um, solitaire the regular uh, solitaire that everybody knows to spider solitaire and even improved solitaire games that are even more interesting and um, different so it's a nice Microsoft collection and I believe that everybody should get this it's free of charge which is pretty nice and it's actually an online Xbox uh, game so you can actually play and compare your scores with uh, others. So you've got the Klondike, the Spider, the Free Cell, Pyramid, the Tri-Peaks, and you also have daily challenges. And you have different teams that you could put in the background, which is quite nice. So if you want to have, uh, for example, the beach team and play solitaire, then you have um, a beautiful solitaire. So if I click my Klondike, Klondike sorry, here I've got now my Klondike solitaire with a background ocean. So a very, very nice app, free of charge. If you miss that solitaire in Windows 8, uh, that's where you should actually get it. Another suggestion that I might have for apps is the Google search app. Um, so go into the Microsoft. It's, if it's not already pre-installed on your computer, just go and get the Microsoft um, store and go into the Google search app. It's free of charge and it brings you that big tile with Google that you can see here on my top of the screen just left of uh, Facebook and this is where you can actually make searches so now you can actually search whatever you want through this app it's a full screen app it's very well made also and it brings you to the different searches um, in a very very nice way as you see here it's uh, quite nice actually so uh, if you're searching for anything, I think the search app is uh, quite good for Google on the Windows 8 computer. And it is, of course, easy to use if you have a touch-enabled device, so it's pretty cool for that. So uh, these are some of the great apps that you should actually get. And um, of course, we'll have every week apps that you should download and install. So this is our suggestions of free apps to start off your uh, Windows 8 experience after you have that new computer, uh, Windows 8 computer at Christmas. Or uh, maybe you have it for a while and you were wondering what app you should actually get. Um, one word to mention, your Windows 8 machine comes with core apps and these core apps are quite nice actually. So uh, the uh, Bing Weather app, you should actually really, really make it work. It's a great, great app. It's very beautiful, actually. And it's a very nice app giving you weather. Uh, another thing that you should actually check is the news app. The um, Bing news app is also extremely nice. Always has these extremely beautiful pictures of whatever happening. Uh, this one here, the story about trap ship awaits Antarctic rescue. Uh, and it's a great, great news app. So this is also a great app. Core app is an app that's already 
pre-installed on your computer. And uh, one interesting app also is the uh, food and drink app that's available. Uh, the food and drink app is great because you can have all sorts of recipes you're looking at, uh, the ways to make a recipe. And what's cool about the food and drink app is that you don't have to touch your computer when you make a recipe. One of the uh, things that people actually uh, don't like is when you make a recipe, your hands are full of flour or, uh, you know, you just touch some kind of pastry and you're full of, uh, uh, of food basically on your hands. And, you know, you don't want to touch a computer because you don't want to put all that on the computer. What's cool is that it uses the webcam on your machine. So you can actually just swipe in front of the webcam. If you want to see an example, just look for the food and drink app review that I have on the channel and you will see it. it's very, very nice. So this is another great app to actually browse. So take a look at these apps because we have lots of great, great examples. And um, actually in Windows 8, we now have uh, something like more than 100,000 apps are available now for Windows 8, which is quite nice. And uh, things are, are getting you know better and better all the time. So uh, if you enjoy our videos, please subscribe to our channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions on what you've seen, let us know. And why not uh, share it with your friends and uh, take a look at our different videos also. If you have a suggestion of an app of a feature of Windows 8 that we did not talk about and that you need help, let us know. We'll try to put that video online. You'll be helping others at the same time. And hopefully you enjoy our videos and we'll be coming back to the official Windows 8 channel. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.